What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to correct your running form so that you can eliminate players in the game with pace. So the first element to get right here is to have the leg that produces the most power to have it forward and then to have the opposite arm up. For example, if your right leg produces the most power, then you're gonna to wanna to have your left arm up. If your you know, left leg produces the most power, you're gonna to wanna to have your right arm up. So this helps it to where you can efficiently use the power going forward and not waste any motion. How the coach explained to me is basically your arm is like a wood chopper. Basically, whenever you're trying to explode out of the gates, you're trying to chop the wood basically as hard as possible. So you can see in this clip where I'm exploding out, my arm, my left arm, is actually driving down in a really, really, really fast motion, and it actually extends behind me, but the point is, is that it's generating so much power driving me forward. For footballers, it's important to understand that your dominant leg, say you kick with your right foot, say you kick with your left foot, that's not the foot that you would be putting in front here because that's not the one that would generate the most power. The most generative power leg would be the one that you actually balance on whenever you're kicking with your dominant foot. So if you're left footed, it would actually be your right leg. And if you're right footed, it would actually be your left leg, just to let you know. Because I'm a left footed player, but my right leg is used to kind of drive everything forward while my you know left leg is with the ball at, at, at my feet. And so it's important to understand that it's not your dominant foot necessarily when it comes to playing football, but it's your, the dominant foot, or the dominant leg, sorry, that will generate the most power. So now the leg drive from your most powerful leg should be powerful enough to where your opposite leg is just kind of gliding and dragging across the floor to where it's kind of still in a forward motion, but it's really hard to explain, but you can see in this clip right here, my right leg is so powerful to the point where my left leg basically drags across the ground almost, but in a forward motion to where I stick and then I can accelerate forward in the next step. Having this kind of leg drive and momentum will help ultimately you to get a bigger step on your opponents, which will make it to where your strides are bigger and to therefore cause you to be faster. Now, the element that I just touched on there is, you know, all about your stride length. So you want your stride length to be, you know, pretty as big as possible, but you don't want to be leaning back. You want to be going forward. You want your body to be tilted forward slightly. You can see that my back is straight and my body is leaned forward a little bit. But the main point here is to make sure that your stride length is big enough to where you're getting as the maximum amount of power as possible. So now you can see in this clip, right, you can see a couple issues, right? My arms are not really generating that much power. And you can see that my leg drive, you know, reciprocates that because of the fact that the stride is not as big. But you can see in this clip where my arm drive is, you know, crazy. And you can see that it replicates onto my stride because my stride was a lot bigger, right? And so these little tiny details is exactly what I'm talking about. And it's super important to understand that, you know, these little tiny details, if you can make them instinctual, so you don't, let, you don't even think about them, they just, you know, happen, then you just ultimately, you know, fix your running stride and you fix your running ability and you can ultimately not even think about it and just run like this forever, then it will just pay dividends over time because you're gonna be so much quicker. And so it's so important to understand for footballers that speed is such an asset if you can have it. And you know, I always talk about how you wanna provide as much value to a team as possible and it's a lot better if you have speed than you don't. You have to agree with that. The important thing to understand here is that extra speed in soccer is always a plus, right? You have these players that are super good like Tony Kroos that have intellectual intelligence, but I, I still think that if you can get a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, a little bit more, you know, um, efficient with your running, then it'll always help 
over the long term because ultimately we're going to be running so many miles in a game and we're going to have so many games in a season. And so the more things that you can adapt to your you know, running form to where it'll help you over time are always viewed as assets. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more weekly soccer and fitness content. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment below. I answer every single comment there is. Um, and like I said, just leave a comment and like, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next week. Peace.